Hello everyone, it's Swole Benji. I wanted to bring this video to attention and give my opinions on it, as well as the opinions uh, in the Reddit thread. This is r slash r public freakout and this is a video of a guy that stole a laptop either from a person or a store i'm assuming from a store and you know just just left with it basically a shoplifter a piece of shit and um this chad goes after him and gets it back now this is not my video so i'm not gonna full screen it uh but here's here's basically what happened okay so this is our chad right here in the orange and the guy in the white shirt is the laptop thief right so he's just following him i'm just gonna skip ahead here i don't want to show the whole video and look at this guy. Look, he's fucking built, dude. This guy lifts. Yoink. Right? Takes his, the laptop. And he takes his uh, saddlebag. Look at these donkey kicks. Like, what's he gonna do? Can't even get close. Oi, that's moid, mate. That's fucking moid. Like, what's he gonna do about it? So he throws... He just threw his satchel bag on the roof. Right? So the guy can't get, he obviously can't get his stuff back. <laughs> Laughinggirls.jpg. So he, he goes back to the store. Next level, that's right. <laughs> Laptop in hand. What a chad, guys. What a, what an alpha male. Those guys on the bench, they're jealous. I love how the camera panned over to him, too. It's so good. It's like, you could have been this if you would have went to the gym and lifted weights. And the little kid's clapping. Because he knows. <laughs> Yeah, hero. You hear that? Look at that. That's a that's a fucking bro pat right there. Hell yeah. That's every gym bro's dream is to catch the bad guy or not even catch the bad guy. He just got the shit back. Me, I would have been I would have been way worse. I would have pounded the guy into the fucking dirt. Um, got the shit back. You know, called the cops who are probably too busy fighting bushfires right now. So let's go to the Reddit comments. And I I fucking hate Reddit oh so much. I hate Reddit so much because of how soy everyone is. But let's let's read some of this stuff. A cook that would make a horse jealous. Uh, was that back thing that the guy threw the thief's bag? I've already covered that. Chad is real, and you could be a Chad, too. You guys could be a Chad, too. You just gotta go to the gym. Loser could have got a beatdown. I agree. Now, uh, I've made comments like this on this subreddit before. Uh, as you can see, when I'm clicking reply, nothing happens because I'm banned. I've been banned on this subreddit for making comments like this. But because this person is Miss E. Cummings, Miss? Oh, a girl? Mm, better not ban her. Somebody help, this guy stole my shit. You can keep the money or return it to the owner for reward. Now this guy gets video games. This is a video game post. I love posting uh, little video game quips, but unfortunately he missed um, the surge of comments. So this would be highly upvoted normally if he got like, if he was one of the first people to post this comment. I'm going to give him the uh, the upvote here because of video games. You, you got to support your fellow gamers, lads. Friend of mine worked in a music shop and blah blah blah. They were fucking mad that he wouldn't got the thing back because it was unnecessarily dangerous. Oh, and the insurance would have paid more. This is a soy post, guys. This is what it's like to be a soy boy. Okay, sure, it may have been insured and it may have been dangerous, but you know what? If no one does anything in the face of danger, that means not only are you all cowards, but also it will let evil reign supreme, okay? So you should always try to do the right thing. Unless you're incapable of doing, like if the shoplifter was like a pack of six dudes that were bigger than the bodybuilder there, maybe you couldn't do anything about it. I mean, I would still shout at them and follow them around and annoy the fuck out of them if I was outnumbered, you know, as long as I knew I could run away or, you know, get to some safe area. But fuck it, you gotta bring attention to this. You can't just fucking keep your head down and ignore it, or otherwise society will crumble. It, I mean, it already is, but hey, you gotta do your part. But as far as the insurance things go, look, I worked retail 13 years, and while it's true in the nicer neighborhoods and maybe the high, like, the high price items might be insured, most aren't because retail can't afford it. And when I say they can't afford it, they can, but they would have to charge way more. So when I worked in the ghetto, nothing was insured. The way we made up for shoplifting loss, besides what the company gave us, because we had way more shoplifters than what they uh, the average was we had to cut hours so let's say this guy stole this laptop and he got away with it right well that store would have to cut the employees hours and if you've ever met anyone that works retail most of them work uh, paycheck to paycheck they're struggling to pay their bills they have families to feed they don't ever get to go on vacation except maybe every few years they can maybe afford a trip for just the two of them you know not even their kids it's really sad it's really heartbreaking and um when shoplifters come and steal shit like this that really hurts the employees. It really does. 
But Reddit doesn't give a fuck because Reddit is full of office little cucks that type on their computers all fucking day, sitting in a cubicle, uh, getting paid way more than anyone that ever works retail gets paid. So, you know, they don't really care. Reddit doesn't care about this kind of thing. He's like the opposite of Superman, wearing shades when he is a superhero and not when he isn't. That's some next level shit. This is a rare example of a that happened, but it actually did happen, even a clap in. A guy was murdered the other day for chasing down the guys who stole his laptop from a coffee shop. Don't do this. Alright, so Rodman930 here says that someone got murdered. That a guy got murdered? No. He chased after his laptop, um, and he ran out in the middle of traffic and got hit by cars. That sucks. But he wasn't murdered. He died from an accident. The people that stole his laptop didn't turn around and shoot him or shank him. And yes, they totally could. That's totally a thing. If you are a timid beta male who can't handle a, a dinky knife or someone threatening you with a gun, then don't fucking do it. But someone like me or someone like in the, the guy in the video, we can take them. We're close enough. Someone draws a knife, I'll just fucking pry it out of their hands and shank them. I play a rogue in World of Warcraft. You think I don't know how to use a knife? Seriously, if this guy had a weapon, it ended differently. It might have. Just take the laptop and bash his face in. If he tries to kill you, you have every grounds to defend yourself. I don't know about Australia laws. You know, they could be a little different, but I would assume they're they're pretty similar to the laws here in the UK or even in the United States. People, don't risk your safety or waste your time. Ugh. It's not always insured. I, I went over this. But the, these guys don't care. Sloppy donkey show. Downvote. Downvote that guy. I wish I was this alpha. Well, I would reply and tell you how to be alpha song go song on zo but i can't because they banned me because they're soy this guy horse kicks over 9,000. uh they're just talking about where in australia this happened still hate him turd of a man thinking aggression is better than calling the cops and letting them do their job he's already being downvoted aggression are you kidding he got the he got the stolen stuff back stop being so timid and so soy Healthy junkie. They hang out at one of the traffic lights where I live, but seems to have made it on the top and controls it on all sides. Other beggars have left. The power dynamic must be strong. This guy's name is Fart Filler. Grow up. Like, this guy is just mad, and he thinks he's aggressive because he lifted weights? I get I get treated like this a lot in, in real life, guys. Uh, people think I'm an asshole or I'm a dick just because I'm strong? I'm sorry that I went to the gym and made myself healthy. Well, like, what the fuck's the deal? Next level, Kaba. Should've used that power move to take the laptop for himself. He doesn't need it, he's a Chad. Oh, man, okay. This happened a few days ago in the barrier area. Someone stole a dude's laptop, chased him in the car, but the victim ended up dying from injuries from being thrown out of the car. Nah, uh, that may be a different one but um if you're thrown out of a car then you need to lift you need to fucking hit the gym and get get fucking swole bro okay they're just talking about it's not a freak out it's what you're supposed to do uh, yes it's what you're supposed to do and he's getting downvoted so i upvoted him he's back at zero <sighs> fucking reddit man it's so painful get lucky he didn't have a knife it's australia ghetto get ghetto ghetto wow that's a really hard name that's mine, says the thief. It's mine now, brada. Why is he downvoted? <laughs> Fuck. I like this website. It's This website is so infested with the most soy of human beings, if you can even call them that anymore. I think he impregnated the mother in the store just by walking by. Because he's so chat. So alpha, man. Most junkies can't afford a gun. Exactly. Anytime shoplifters would threaten me with violence with a knife or a gun, which they never had anyway. Maybe they had a knife. They were too timid to pull it on me. I always acted like I was going to pull one on them. Because they don't know if I'm store security or, you know, I was dressed as a manager. So, let's see. If you're going to do drugs, always afford them first. What did he throw as a distraction? He doesn't skip leg day, but leg day is only once a week for 15 minutes compared to chest arm day. What the fuck? Is it... He's getting downvoted for a reason for that fucking comment. Horse kicking backwards. Yeah, he did some some weird horse kicks. I don't know about that shit. But hey, it worked, right? I don't get why we keep tolerating those parasites. I'm sympathetic to people who get themselves in bad situations like being addicted, even if they're entirely responsible for that happening. This guy just said, downvote. He just said he feels sorry for drug addicts, even though they got themselves in their own situation. I get that a doctor didn't manage pain meds correctly and people end up in a bad way, but mostly a case of recreational use that got out of hand. Don't buy any PC crap to the contrary. For every one junkie who got addicted because of medical mismanagement mothered are dozens who partied themselves into it. Whatever brings people to that, we need to stop pretending it's okay just looking the other way, allowing it to continue and escalate. Bro, this is just a guy stealing a laptop so we can sell it for drug money. Most people are bored into it or exposed from a young age. Yeah, I was, and I never partook in any of it because I have a strong will willpower to say no and to realize and look at everyone else that's fucking doing this shit that it's ruining their life and making them not better at video games that was the whole that was my whole thing for being drug alcohol smoke free was how does this make me better at video games it doesn't why would i do it it's a waste of time and money who gives 
a crap about, uh, come get high with me, bro. And now all the potheads are gonna unsub. Though this guy is probably way deeper than pot, that's for sure. Uh, and now they're just talking about addiction, blah, blah, bunch of cubicle nerds talking about stupid shit. Anyway, you guys get the point. Uh, this guy's mirroring the, that ass with 417 upvotes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and give that on one there because that ass, that's why we work out, bros. To be attractive. The natural predator of junkies. So yeah, guys, that's um, that's what that's just what I was uh, watching on on Reddit. Uh, what do you think? Again, it's this video here. The uh, the Chad yoinks the laptop from the thief, and he, there's nothing he can do. You got the Alpha Chad and the Virgin Junkie. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. I'll, I'll see you in the next one.